All right, guys, we're back for another episode of Photography Talking. Speaking of which, welcome to episode 105. And we have all sorts of things to discuss in this episode of Photography Talk. We're going to kick things off with something serious, or actually a very serious issue. Someone has been plagiarizing our content and the content of many other photography sites like B&H, uh, Expert Photo, Adorama, and passing it off as their own. Not only passing it off as their, as their own, but also selling it on Amazon. Then we're also going to talk about delays from Canon, this time with the EOS R3 camera. Now, you could be in a very, very long way if you're apt to get one of these things. Now, lastly, we'll wrap up this discussion with with production stoppages at Sony and review our current giveaway. All right, guys, before we dive into this week's headlines, if you could do me a big favor, as you may know, each week we put together a video like this, identifying the top news stories from that week, and of course, in a very small bite-sized format for you. So it gets you off the computer, keeps you informed, and gets you outside doing something Fun with your camera. Now, of course, if we are successful with this and you find some value with this video, if you could do us a big favor, reward us back by hitting that like button down below. It really does help with the whole YouTube algorithm. That said, let's get on to this week's headlines. Now, according to Oscar Wilde, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery that meteorocracy can pay to greatness. Now, that quote is all too familiar because someone in the photography community has been ripping off our content and really content and plenty of other websites and passing it off on their own or selling it as well. And I'm talking to you, Thomas Vassis. Now, what you're looking at on the screen is a side-by-side -side content from an article that we on Photography Talk published April 30th, 2019. Next to it, is a description for Mr. Vass's Beginner's Guide to Digital Photography that he published April 2nd, 2020. You notice anything strange here? <laughs> yeah. The text for this book is 100% the same text from our article. Not cool. He even ripped off the same content to put on the back of the print version of his book. Here's a little bit more for you to feast your eyes on. And it isn't just our content this gentleman is ripping off. Now here's a side-by-side -side article from our friends with Adorama from March 22nd, 2018 in the description of this book, or his book rather, Basic Tips for Weather Photography, which was published on April 21st, 2020. Again, text is literally word for word. Now here's a article from Digital Photography School in the description of his book, How to Do Dreamy Landscape Photography with a Neutral Density Filter. Again, you see anything out here? Now the list goes on and Mr. Vasquez has ripped off content uh, from Canva, Creative Photographer, Click and Learn Photography, Astro Backyard, and many, many others. This was originally brought to my attention a few weeks ago from our friends over at B&H. Uh, and they really put some homework into this. There is a huge list of acts where this guy is ripping off uh, other people's work and publishing it and selling it, own, or selling it as his own. Not just on Amazon, but a number or other websites. Now this is really unfortunate to say the least and I'm pissed about it as should the other folks that this guy has stolen content from. So whether it's someone's text or images ripping off another's photographer's work is Man, that is not okay. Now, the people that wrote these articles work hard to do so, and they were paid by somebody to do so. And if you can't come up with your own ideas to write your own content, hey, and perhaps you should kind of reevaluate your desire to be a writer. Now, I did reach out to Mr. Vasquez uh, of geez, a few weeks ago to discuss this matter, but at this juncture, I haven't heard back. Yeah, what a what a shock. Actually, I'll share with you a few things as well. So 
I reached out to him, um, asked him to pull the books down, which of course he didn't. Um, I bought one of his books to forward over to our attorney, uh, and then I tried leaving a review on Amazon, and Amazon kicked back my review, said it was against their terms of service or their language or something or other. I called the guy a crook in the title. And so Amazon wouldn't publish it. Um, I did leave a review on his Facebook page, but then he removed his reviews off Facebook. So you can't even leave him a review on Facebook anymore. Um, I left him a review on Google and he managed to pull that off. I did leave a review on Yelp and Trustpilot, which I'll put links down below. Uh, and so far, they haven't been removed, so that's that's pretty good for Yelp and uh, Trustpilot. How do you feel about this? If you are in our shoes or one of the, geez, 20, 30 website that this guy has ripped off and then sell, you know, taken this content and reselling it word for word, image for image, links included on Amazon, how would you feel? Again, leave me a comment below. Another week and another story about camera orders that will be hard to fill. Now, Canon recently uh, posted a message on its Japanese website to apologize to customers that many orders are going to be delayed. It reads, currently, we have received orders for each of the following products in excess of expectations, and due to impact of global part supply, delivery delays are occurring. We apologize for the inconvenience caused to our customers and business partners. Well, first off, Canon really do appreciate the communication. Now, the message is most notable for the EOS R3, which was officially released, geez, just last month. Now, the new uh, 1435 F4L uh, lens is also noted as being impacted by delays. Now, it could be six months or more before Canon can fill new orders. So if you haven't already ordered your uh, R3 or your 1435 lens, you, my friend, could be waiting for a long time to get your gear. Now another chip shortage news, Sony has stopped orders for its ZV-E10 camera. Now the camera was released just, boy, five months ago, but Sony is already having to stop production because of the lack of chips available. Now it seems even though that this is one of Sony's newest cameras, that they are prioritizing chips for more popular products. Now in addition to the ZV-E10, Sony has also stopped production of the A6400, the 6100, and the A7 II, all in an attempt to conserve what few chips that they have available. Now there's really no word yet regarding when production might resume of these cameras, but my guess is could be well into next year or even perhaps 2023. It really depends on how long this whole chip shortage lasts. Now let's wrap up this video with a discussion of our current giveaway. Here are the three prizes that we have this time around. We have a Hold Fast Remographer camera bag, a Hex Ranger mini sling, and of course the old faithful $100 Anorama gift card. As always, entering the giveaway is really simple. Step one, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So get watching some of the other videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the forum. Now, if you registered on the site during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win. But friend, as I keep saying over and over again, swing and buy, say hello, post some photos. We would love to see you in that is it for complete details on the giveaway including how to register on photography talk and how to say hello in the forum check out the description below good luck all right guys there you go photography talk episode 105 is in the bag as always it's that time of the video where friend i'm gonna ask you to do all that youtube stuff that is oh so valuable to the channel if you found some value with this video do me a favor hit that like button down below if you're currently not subscribed Man, what are you waiting for? We would love to have you part of the family. Besides, we have we have videos like this every single week and plenty of other topics as well. And speaking of which, you wanna hit that bell down below so therefore you're notified each time that we come out with one of these videos. That said, my friend, I'm gonna be jumping out of my studio here so you get out there, stay healthy, and find your best shot.